Today we have another product from Melinda's. It is Melinda's Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. Bam! Almost, almost bam. If we almost had it in focus, that would have been cool. Set your mouth on flavor. You want fire? That's easy. Anyone can strike a match, but few can strike a balance. A balance where heat and flavor find themselves on equal footing. At Melinda's, we pride ourselves on striking that perfect balance in every sauce we make. Get ready to set your mouth on flavor. Melinda's Ghost Pepper, it is hot. Like one million Scoville units hot. Heat level five out of five. Yep, it's all the way up there, it says. Made the Melinda's way with whole fresh ingredients and the best peppers on the planet. The ingredients, Ghost Pepper Mash. Ghost pepper mash, water, white vinegar, habanero pepper mash, carrot, onion, lime, salt, garlic, citric acid, xanthan gum. This is a product of Columbia, imported and distributed by Melinda's Food in Irving, Texas. Let's give it a shake and a swig. It smells uh, vinegary, getting vinegar. A little bit of pepper flavor. We've got a dropper cap. Let's get that off. Try not to get any in our eyes this time. Yeah, vinegar. Vinegar first. Peppery second. Maybe some vegetables up in that business right there. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not serious. I'm not a food reviewer. Melinda's ghost pepper hot sauce. We've done Melinda's ghost pepper condiments or buffalo, whatever it was. We've done Melinda's. We've done a lot of Melinda's, but this is actually their... Ghost pepper hot sauce. After I took a swig, I realized vinegar is not the first thing you taste. It might be the first thing you smell, but the first thing you taste is, well, that sweet heat of the ghost pepper. You don't taste heat though, or do you? Again, don't know what I'm talking about. It's not insanely hot. It's not burning the hell out of me. You get like freshness. You get this fresh, good balance of heat and vinegar with obviously there's some like seeds, chunks in there. I mean, obviously you're going to get that vinegar a little bit, but this is good. I'm digging this. Um, not a whole lot of other, I'm not picking up a whole lot of like any other like undertones other than the pepper, vinegar. Maybe something else, like fresh. Maybe that's the carrot or onion. I don't know. This is good. It's got some texture to it. <coughs> vinegar. I can't tell if that's really the ghost pepper or the vinegar that's giving me that little bit of uh, throat burn. I think it's I think it's a little bit of both. That's a delicious sauce. Uh, Melinda's ghost pepper hot sauce. It is flavor. It's, it's not crazy hot. Uh, at heat scale, I'm going to give this like a kind of want to give it a second just to decide because I feel like this is kind of building a little bit. I don't want to call it too prematurely on this. Flavor, I'm going to go 8 out of 10. If you like the, the taste of a ghost pepper and you just like that ghost pepper mixed, you know, mixed in and kind of kind of tamed a little bit, this is your sauce. Heat, I'm going to go a 1.5 out of 10 because there is a decent burn. There is a decent burn. 8 out of 10 for flavor, 1.5 out of heat. This is not a bad sauce. Toss that in your chili. That is perfect chili. Chili seasoning ghost pepper sauce right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Melinda's ghost pepper hot sauce. Good night. God bless. And we'll see you next time. I just noticed I have a zit right there. What other weird things do I got on my face? Good night. God bless. And we'll see you guys next time.